This is smart. What? That doesn't say smart. <laughs> uh, Samsung Galaxy Ring review. Let's go. I wanted to love it by MKBHD. Seems to have good reception so far. 2.1 million views. It was two days ago, but uh, yeah. Now, shut up, Marcus. Now, the, the things I know about this ring so far, and that's not a lot, is uh, basically it has to be worn on the same place at all times, which is really awkward for me because as, as I was talking to one of my mates about this yesterday and uh, we were talking about how with a ring you want to fidget a lot, especially when I used to wear the rings on this hand. I used to fidget with my ring quite a bit, so it seems a bit stupid to have one that you physically can't move. Plus, it seems a bit pointless, especially with like watches. I mean, I wear this watch every single day because it tracks my calories and it seems to mostly be centered about health, which you watch and actually most phones can do as well. I don't really understand it, but... Uh, Let's see what Marcus have to say about it. I have learned a lot about rings and about myself in the past week of testing the Galaxy Ring. It's been an adventure. I've gotten resized. I've had some... I will say this. I think even from the first moment I saw it, it looks clean. Like, don't get us wrong. It's just a black ring. It's very simple, but I like the way it looks. It could have been really bulky. It could have been way over the top. It could have had Samsung written all over. I, I don't know. It doesn't. And I like that fact. I think that's quite good. Existential thoughts. And at the end, I have maybe a hot take on smart rings versus smart watches. So buckle up. There smart rings. They've been around for a while now. Uh, the aura I like to see he's in emissions. So let's watch that. You see, that's why I don't want them to be skipped. Smart ring. It's, it's done so well. That's why I don't want it to be skipped. They've been around for a while now. Uh, the Aura Ring came out like 10 years ago as a Kickstarter, but the main point of these, the whole advantage of it, is you can wear it 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It has a seven-day long battery life, so the whole idea... Is Bad start. Bad start. I don't want to take off my ring once a week. I literally, when I used to have a ring, bear in mind, I want to put this up, my ring wasn't a, a smart one, it literally was just a regular silver ring. In fact, it wasn't even like a regular ring, it was a, it was actually one that didn't attach at the bottom, and it was, so it was resizable, you could just push it in yourself. So it was like a unisize one, because I'd never really worn a ring before, I didn't know what my size was, and I thought, rather than finding out the size and spending quite a bit of money on a ring that I might not like, I'll buy this cheaper one, which is about £30, and do it that way. But I never, ever took it off, not for showers, not for going out, not for work, not for nothing, and it was fine. But scratches here and there, but who cares? You just walk around like living life with a ring on like normal. Living, eating, sleeping, showering, there you go. swimming, whatever. Yeah. With a ring. And that's honestly the most impressive thing about the smart ring to me is the fact that it gets so close in dimensions to like a regular ring yeah. that people would wear. Agreed. Now, keep in mind, if yep. you have smaller hands, it'll look bigger, but it's 2.6 millimeters thick, so it kind of bulges around your finger. But aside from that, it just looks normal. It's not a tiny ring, but I mean, that, it's still, I'm impressed by how much tech they shove into this tiny little frame. And by tech, I'm honestly surprised that Samsung have released this. It seems kind of pointless to me. I think I think the, the watches will be fine. I don't think they needed to do this. I mean, a small battery and a couple pretty basic sensors. But when you put it all together, you get this all day activity tracker that you can kind of just put on at the beginning of the week and then forget about it, not worry about the battery life, just wear it every day every night and then just get a ton of valuable insight on your health and sleep and energy levels at least that's the ideal use case now i mm -hmm. have never worn a ring before so there's always some layer of like getting used to wearing something on your finger every day but then on top of that there are a couple other best practices like things you should know about wearing this one so first of all there is a correct way to wear it okay all the sensors are on the same side of the ring lined up at the bottom with this little notch so you're supposed to align all those sensors with the palm side of your hand for the best readings and then you're supposed to wear it on your index finger for the best results so apparently not actually on your ring finger so once you get this right you should have all the info showing up in the samsung health app this is so let <laughs> Let me get it straight, Samson. You design a ring. You go all, you go to all this effort. You design a ring, which, by the way, the regular ring can be worn on any finger. And you tell people, you have to wear it in a certain angle and you have to wear it on a certain finger. You're joking. I wore my ring on the pinky and it, I was happy with how it was. I thought, I thought it was really good. I would not want to wear a, a ring on there. That would just feel really odd. I wouldn't be a fan of that, especially when you're doing basic everyday tasks. How often do you use your pinky for everyday tasks? Like, even on a controller. Your pinkies down here, your, your fingers. If there was a ring, imagine there was a ring there, pushed up on the side of the controller, like right there. I'd hear that. But like, just using a mouse, it's the left hand, just grabbing the drink. 
the drink is different, but like still, you get, you get the point. It's it's not it doesn't sound comfortable, but calories burned, steps taken, how many miles you've covered. Yeah, my watch does that, and it all accumulates it together with this one energy score, which is out of a hundred. So I was wearing my Apple Watch Ultra at the same exact time that I was testing the Ring. Uh -huh. So I'm looking at the numbers back and forth, and it seems like the Ring and the watch are way off from each other. Like oh. The Ring, I'm just going to say it's overcounting a lot of... Uh, oh! I thought he was going to say the opposite. I thought he was going to say that the Ring is more accurate. 13 active hours, zero flights of stairs versus eight flights of stairs. Uh, regular activity. But then it didn't count nearly as many floors climbed for some reason. So I don't know. There's just... There's a big delta between these numbers. And then I also, at one point, took the ring off for a while, around 10 p.m. one day. More on that later. But it continued to show heart rate ranges all the way, you can see here, until eh. 3 a.m., when I am definitely not wearing it. It's kind of weird. You know, I, I did that challenge a while ago of walking a 1,000 steps in a bunch of smartwatches and with a pedometer, and they were all within a few percent of each other. So I think I leaned towards trusting the watch over the ring numbers. But that brings me to the importance uh. of sizing because you only get one size, you don't get to adjust it like you would with a watch, right? So uh, you might have seen this right here. This thing oh. is uh, Samsung's ring sizing kit. You can buy this on their site for 10 bucks and then you get a whole bunch of different plastic versions of the ring and they even have the... You have to, you have to pay just to get a size. Are you joking? Tubs on the inside. I imagine, to be fair, I imagine you can just go into a shop and do it that way. I'm Sure, they would allow that to be honest. Sensors. They've got to have this same kit just available in a shop for regular use. So you try a bunch of these on and you try to figure which one is the most snug but won't fall off, and that'll be the size of the ring that you get. And then you get 10 bucks off the, the ring itself. So I bring this. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. It's, it's a little thing, but taking $10 off the actual ring. Well done, Samsung. You've actually done the right thing there. Up because I totally did the size kit thing either with the wrong finger or I did something wrong because I ended up with a ring size 11, which it was a little too big when I got the actual ring. Uh, and so I noticed that because it was, it was kind of loose. It didn't really feel comfortable all the time. And then there would be like gaps in my sleep readings, which probably just meant that it was like pushed off of my finger while I was asleep and it wasn't actually reading anything. So I got a new size. I got the thing is to me, right? It's like my Apple Watch. This strap that I've got on, this metal strap that I've got on, isn't great. If I shake my wrist really hard, can you see it? It wasn't obvious. If I if I do certain actions, it'll shake around. It's not the most secure strap. You can see it there. It's not. It's moving really easily. But I've got about six different straps in my drawer down here, and. I've got a sports one, which is just like a black strap, but it's if I literally do the second hole. So if the first hole on the strap is the is the biggest space between the watch and the hand, I do the second hole, it will literally not move no matter what I do. So the watch is just better in my eyes. I, just, I, I mean, yeah, I don't get to have to charge a watch a lot more, but there's some smart watches out there that last weeks. There is watches that last, there, that last a long time. I'm sure the Google Pixel one does, but obviously... I imagine that wouldn't work for an iPhone, but I don't know. At the size 10, and then it felt much better. And by the way, it turns out the index finger is a much better place to put like a heart rate monitor and other sorts of vitals sensors than the back of the wrist. This is one of those weird secrets or whatever that nobody really talks about with smartwatches, which is that the back of the wrist is a horrible place to measure any of this stuff. But oh, yeah. The ring, okay, that's, that's where you should get that info. Now, here's the thing that using this smart ring for a while actually taught me about myself. All of the benefits are still true. Like, it's more wearable than a watch 24-7, definitely. It's got that full week-long battery life. It's legit. Is it? I take my watch off for the shower, but I don't need to. I don't go swimming very much, but I don't really feel like that's an issue. I don't feel like my watch gets in the way of anything. But anyway. You can basically forget you're wearing it after a few days in a row and have lots of ways to wear it out it's more versatile you don't have to dress it up or dress it down to match an outfit it's just a simple concave fair, fair. titanium design that looks good anywhere there's three colors gold silver or matte black so you already know this matte black one feels right <laughs> at home. i've just discovered that i'm not a big smart ring person myself that's just what it's come down to the main thing is the activities that i do that i care about the most 
uh, I can't have anything on my hands. Like, number one, ultimate frisbee, a lot of throwing, a lot of catching, uh, golf, where the, the ring again just doesn't yeah, work, and uh, weight training, a lot of grip stuff, just can't have a ring on. So for each of those major workout activities, I take the ring off. See that that that's that's that that to me is just an example of why I watch is better. I don't know about the frisbee, but golf. I don't play golf properly, but I play play at the driving range. I mean, I haven't been in months, but it doesn't matter. I wore my watch every single time. And what was the last one you said? Weight training. You you don't you, you can have your watch on for that. And I again, I don't do weight training very much, but whenever I do go to the gym, I do a little bit of weight training, do the basics, and. It's fine. You can wear your watch. You don't need to take off the watch to do that. But it just seems pointless to me. I don't get it. A lot of grip stuff. Just can't have a ring on. So I don't understand it. Workout activities, I take the ring off, which defeats the purpose of a fitness tracker that's supposed to know everything. Everything that I say, Marquez then says, it's really sad. Everything about my fitness when it's not tracking the most important workout stuff that I do. Now, I did keep the ring on for some other like lighter plyo workouts and there is auto workout detection, but with the lighter workouts, like where you're not moving quickly and your heart rate doesn't say- Tell you one thing I love about Apple. Why would you put me on that? I'll tell you what I love about Apple Watch is that when it detects that I'm automatically doing a workout, which for the most part is just walking outside and doing an outdoor walk. Whenever it recognizes that, I press record outdoor walk and it's already counted. It makes it seem like it's just counting it from there. Like as soon as you get a notification, it makes it seem like that's what it's tracking from that moment. But actually it's been tracking from the moment you started it. And when I press record outdoor walk, it's like, oh, you've already burnt 80 calories and 90 calories. And I'm like, damn, that is one of the best things. I just, I love this, this watch. I swear to God, right? I'm sure, I imagine it's the same for any Apple Watch, but if you want to lose weight, if you want to, you know, do exercise, if you want to track all of that, at least on the iPhone side, Apple Watch is the way to go. Just get one and then you'll... This is an Apple Watch SE, so this is a cheaper one, but it is top tier for what it is. I absolutely love it. Bike up super high. Then the auto workout detection didn't work super well, at least for me. And same thing for sleep tracking. I had a couple of days on here where it thinks I actually didn't go to sleep until midnight when I was actually in bed earlier than that with the ring on, it just didn't know. My point is, if I am taking my ring off for my most important workout activities, then this is not a great activity tracker for me, clearly. And even for my lighter workouts, turned out the wrist thing that I have on that has a screen on it, even though it's not the optimal place and it's not the optimal form factor to wear 24 seven, I can tell it when I'm starting a workout and I can actually have it track the specific yes. sets of time where I'm using it for a workout that I needed to know everything about. So the ring, I, I like the idea of it, but it's just not for me, which is really too bad because I love the idea of it not distracting me with notifications. It never vibrates. It never makes any noise. Mm, no yeah, yeah, I see that. I got that. I got that. This 24 seven ultra -men I think if you wanted that though, you've got cinema mode on the i on the iPhone on the Apple Watch. Cinema mode, literally, do not disturb. And when you do that with the with the screen, it doesn't automatically come on. So that's you just keep cinema mode turned on all the time. I think it's an easy thing to ignore. Minimal smart wearable. Uh, if I turn on cinema mode, which is rare, but when I do, I just forget I'm even wearing the watch. With a stripped down feature set that you can wear for a week at a time. Like, that's a sick idea. And Samsung's made this nice little case for theirs that charges the ring. I do like the case. I look nice. Inside and has these clever looks little good. LEDs to indicate how much battery is left in the case and in the ring. So it can charge the ring up to one and a half more times with its own built in battery. Is that is that it? One and a half more times? What's the size of the battery in the thing? Just, it's not meant to replace Brother. the smartwatch. It's just a different offering of a product into the same ecosystem. But that conveniently brings Fair. me to my last point, which is they've leaned heavy into the ecosystem thing with the Galaxy Ring. So there are some specific Samsung only features where like you can dismiss an alarm or uh, take a picture with a gesture with your Samsung phone, which is hilarious. I don't think anyone's going to do that very well. <laughs> but it also only works with a Samsung Galaxy phone. Eh? That's according to Samsung on their site. So the uh, I, can't, I can't say I go, eh, because Apple Watches don't work with Android. Ring can only be paired to a Galaxy phone, not any Android phone, just a Samsung phone. So I happen to be using a Samsung phone right now, and that's fine, and I can test it, but if I was using a Pixel or something else, I don't see what would stop me from just picking up 
an aura ring or an ultra human ring or any of those others which basically have the same feature set but work with any Android phone other than this one not having a subscription, which actually is pretty sick. So at the end of the yeah, day, this is. ring is for people who already have a Samsung phone and who prefer the wearability of a ring over the functionality of something like a smartwatch. Because a smartwatch clearly is more functional but less wearable. So this is this thing is all about the simplicity. Mm. Which is probably a good time to mention the one feature that I wish the ring did have, which is NFC. either like some sort of tiny speaker or oh. maybe some ultra wideband antenna or something like that. Something to make it easier to find if you lose it. Because if you do lose it, well, this is a uh, really hard to find. Like there's a find my function in the app, which I can tell you gives you the rough GPS location based on the last spot that it was connected to your phone. And it can light up the LEDs on the inside that it uses to measure heart rate. So if it's really dark, maybe you'll see it visually, but if it's not out somewhere invisible, like if it's in a pocket or underneath something or out of sight, then yeah, you've got about as good a chance of finding this as a regular ring, which uh, yeah, is what did actually end up happening to me. The uh, oh. other smaller <laughs> ring that I was wearing before I got this one resized, I at some point it fell off my wrist or er, hand and I just never found it. So yeah, Samsung, oh, you're watching this. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully I do find it at some point and I can ship it back to you. But that's, <laughs> that's my feature request, along with hopefully not giving me phantom heart rate readings till three in the morning. That's still kind of creepy. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks awesome. for watching. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. That's it. That's the end. There we go. So I thought he was going to say, like, because I have considered buying a, a ring that has NFC built in for the sake of making card payments. But then I thought to myself, if I've already got the watch, if I've already got the phone, which supports it all. Uh, this is back when I had Samsung. So admittedly, on the phone side, paying by phone didn't work as well. Whenever it was a Samsung S10 that I had, whenever I tried to make payments on my phone, it would always be, it would always give us issues. And I find that people with Android phones consistently continue to have issues. Whereas me with my iPhone, just, I don't even have problems. And bear in mind, that's an iPhone SE. I'm pointing at the sneaker ball. That's an iPhone SE, so it's a cheaper model. But yeah, I still don't have any problems. And with the Apple Watch, it's even more consistent. So it's like, I don't know, I, I, I don't, I just don't see the point of a ring. And this thing that you're talking about, the... I get the I get the idea of the wearability of the ring, but at least in my specific use case, the watch is just as fine. I don't have a problem with the watch, so I don't really understand that. Now, obviously, I wouldn't buy it, and especially considering, let's say, ignore the fact that it's only available for Galaxy devices. If it was available for iPhones, I wouldn't pick it up. I do not see the point of it. He didn't see the price of it, but one of my mate told us yesterday. I have to see this because he said the Galaxy Ring. Costs six hundred pound. Well, that's a lie, but it's still expensive for what it is. To be fair, so it costs three nine nine. Does it depend on what option you pick? No, all, all the colors are three nine nine, so it's really not that expensive. Does it change depending on size? It shouldn't. No, it doesn't. So three nine nine is how much it costs. That's that's not it. It's it's not it's not awful, but I paid less for my Apple Watch by quite a bit. And it was less, admittedly, it was less for me because I was in America when I bought it. So it was in dollars. So uh, even though it was, from what I remember, it was the same price as the UK, just in dollars. That's the way it works. So uh, it, it costs less when you do the conversion rate. But yeah, that was the Galaxy Ring. It just, uh, you know, let's say let's say I was interested in purchasing it. It wouldn't, that I still would be in the position where I, I'm not interested in buying it. I just don't think it's, not only is it not worth the money, it's just not an interesting product in my little mind.